I'd say for decades, harassment was just part of the job. It was part of the price of going to work. Amid the national reckoning over sexual harassment, Congresswoman Carolyn Maloney is fighting what she calls a culture of corporate secrecy. Introducing legislation that would expand a provision tucked into the GOP's final tax reform legislation. In this particular tax bill that is moving forward, they are no longer allowing taxpayer dollars to be used in sexual harassment settlements. But it does not cover the buyouts where they often buy people out of their contracts because of sexual harassment. Maloney's bill would prevent companies from deducting buyouts of employees ousted over sexual misconduct allegations. We are going to change the culture, not just here in Congress, not just in Hollywood, but across the land. Every worker should have a respectful workplace. Lawmakers also unveiled another measure that would require companies to report all out of court settlements involving sexual harassment, assault and discrimination to the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission. It shifts the incentive to the company to clean up its act, to stop this type of work environment. This is an objective reality of our society that needs to be disclosed to the wider public so that we can as a community, as a country, as a society, address and try and resolve this very real problem that exists. Meanwhile, just this month, at least five members of Congress have been forced to retire or resign after accusations of sexual misconduct. It's something the Congresswoman says is fueling the momentum for change, not just here on Capitol Hill, but in workplaces across the country. For the first time, people are speaking up with the Me Too movement. It used to be if you spoke up, you were fired. Now it's becoming uh, an open process. Congresswoman Maloney so far does not have any Republican colleagues who have signed on to the bill, but she says she thinks the movement to combat sexual harassment is bipartisan. We want to end this culture. We want to protect uh, women and men in the workplace. In Washington, Samantha Jarroth, Capitol Tonight.